Hey everyone, this is Doug Zeta Rose. As you can see, we're at the start of Act 4. Getting right back into Ninja Gaiden. Welcome, Ryubus. Sorry if I startled you. We are from the CIA Special Auxiliary Unit. My name's Foster. He's a, re a reoccurring character throughout the series. Mm. Getting right to the point. Wait. I want to know why you killed Snip. Okay, I did not pronounce it. You didn't kill it. But we'll fill you in on what we do know. And that's me autocorrecting. Ah! <laughs> upper reaches of the Amazon, some ancient ruins were discovered. Right, it seems the temple was built more than 2,000 years ago. Uh, the discoverer was Dr. Smith, who studied the ruins for some time. But one day, he suddenly sealed off the ruins. And ever since then, no one has gone close. Later, however, a man moved in and took over the ruins. His name is Gardenia de Menu. He calls himself the Jaco. According to our records, it seems that the temple was not where gods are worshipped, but was built to imprison the body of the demon. Yep. Therefore, evil spirits are supposed to be held in the statue you have. Huh, <laughs> but Dr. Smith probably knew that. Oh, I, I got struck by a rabbit. Let's see, it was probably killed by someone working for the Jaco. Hmm. Black moon shines, light and dark break apart. The king of darkness howls. These were the last words written on the stone tablet. If someone brings the demon back to life, he will gain incredible power. Fancy. Enough to control the entire world. So you know about that. The woman who shot you in the bar was one of our agents. They are after you. Use this and go to their headquarters. Get the demon statue back from them. <laughs> of course, you will be paid for the work. Well, yeah, he's American. We paid, paid for plenty of things. And if I say no, you know the answer to that. Huh, pretty much work for him or uh, death. Wasn't. All right. Here we go. Diving down. All right. Okay. All right. Got that jump right. Then do that part right there. Ah. Ah. Add one to the death counter. Right at the start, too. And yeah, it'll sit on the game over a screen till I hit start. Ah! I didn't do that jump right. That jump's tricky. Because you need to take that hit. At least the way I play, I need to eat that hit. It's really annoying. You know, vastly preferred skipping it completely, but you know. Ah, no, didn't want that. Oh, down beat. Right into a pit. Making progress. Even if it doesn't always look like it, making progress. Clean the level almost perfect is a nice reminder 
Well, you know, what I can do. Alright. Ah. No, the counter is guaranteed to get a workout. <laughs> all right, all right. And yeah, there were times seriously playing these games were just an exercise in tenacity. Where your main goal was simply to go, okay, I've got the time, and I've got the patience. Okay, I think I know what to do here. Alright. Just too... I hurried too much there. Yeah. Wait. Come on at me. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Yep, yep. Wow, it's just so much easier to set the pace. Yep. Yeah, why, uh, actually bother going to... Oh. What happens when you misjudge? Hmm. Oh. Ah, and I get chained right into a pit. Ah, this is not how a stage used to go. Not like I was ever just one done. This game's too hard for that. Yo, dodge. Dodge. No. All right, that time I got back that was after. All right, up. Oh, nothing really to worry about here. Oh, right, this bird. Eventually, I have to eat a hit or two from that bird because of that narrow, narrow ledge. Okay. Yep. Boom. Boom. Dodge. Attack. Wow. Yep. Dodge. Jump. Said jump. Wait. Ah. Ah. Hmm. Quite what I was after. Pretty close. Yep. Up, up, up. Oh, wow, yeah. I was just saying, traditionally I eat a hit from that bird. Ah, okay. I always love this little cutscene. I mean, it's short and simple, but it's really cool. It's like, yeah. There I am. That's where I'm going. You, me, 
let's do this. Well, actually more in uh, the other style. Also, this this particular level has some of my favorite music. Ah, still working on some of these new tricks. At least me there now. Yeah, right now it's kind of like, we got 50-50% Ah, okay, that is really important. Ah, crap, I don't have a... Uh... Oh, that's right, I remember the trick. Well, one of the very few items that actually restores health. No, I really didn't want that thing. Well, I mean, it can work with it, but that was not the thing I was after. All right, up, over. So I'm gonna have to deal with that knife thrower again. And the third time. Punch. Oh, don't have to worry about the knife thrower. That guy just hurls maces. Kicker. I don't know what it seems, but I don't have to worry about the second one of those until the one I'm supposed to worry about. Ah, no! I didn't do that jump. I rushed. Yeah, when you rush, bad things happen. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, that's why. So doing things right. Mm -hmm. Go. Come. Go. Rare health restoration. Didn't have long ago, I was about to fire. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's just good for points. This one was good for something else. Yeah, my bad. This way. Aha! Okay. This is the boss. No! Oh, if I remember right, actually, isn't that far? I say this and then I take lethal damage. Well. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna call it good here. So. 
This has been Doug's Arrows for Game Shampoo. As always, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want to see a game played. Hey, comments, Twitter. My Twitter handle is in the description below. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see everyone next week. Bye!